right, everybody, I'm back. Why is the game not showing up? There we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm back. Sorry about that. I needed I needed a bit of a soft reset. Um, uh, don't mind me though. Um. Yeah, I need I needed a soft reset, not for the computer or anything, just like myself. I needed to. I felt like I like too much was going wrong. I needed to, you know, it, that thing where too much is going wrong in a row, and you needed to kind of like step back and re, you know, try again, you know, that kind of a thing. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, let's get this going. Uh, okay, so I'm going to speed through these as, as best I can. Can I skip? Can I? Okay, can't, I can't. I can't. Okay. I am going to do some things differently, because there were a couple of things I wished I'd done differently. And also, since we're streaming longer, maybe we'll find, we'll catch up to where I was or something. I don't know. Hold on a second. Oh, wait. No, I remember. I remember. You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. <laughs> Calm the situation. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Bliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and... They barely laid a hand on her? I thought you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, so. What a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Find out how long the storm is going to last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. <coughs> Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious... He saved her. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Cut it all loose. 
Damn it. I was taking a, a, a drink. Damn it. I guess you tried to help, so, you know, whatever. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding? Again, can we not yell about Where? Brad? Sorry, Julia, I would have caught you, except I fucking... Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Sorry, give me just a second. I had a pop up that came up. Um, all right, there it goes. All right, sorry about that. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. I still love that he's got a fucking flask in a book. Class act. Sorry, just a second. There we go. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Okay. Yeah, I was pretty happy with how things went. Oops, sorry. Uh, went up through. Up through um, the beginning of this. But. Um, yeah. The ship part is, is where the, is the parts that I'm going to change a little bit of. Excuse me.
So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to keep him moving. I'm not going to have him tech this. Um, okay, so there's nothing over here. I'm not going to have him check this thing, this board here. Because I don't want it to get knocked out of his hands. Because I want to see it as Brad later. Because we know that Br he'll, we'll come back through here as Brad. Or has it already been... Sorry. I was nosy. Alright. We know that we come through here as Brad in a bit. So. Brad goes to the left. We have to go to the right. So. So that's why Brad picks up the bracelet. Um, I'd forgotten that. I forgot that she lost it. I missed that too, I think. This I am gonna check. Miller, we hear we see his name in a few things later. Um, how much exploring can I do in here? Not much. Okay. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Such an American. I love it. Try to get out of your way here, man. Damn it, come on. There you go. Oh shit! Oh, excuse me for the yawn. Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. An abandoned ship. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian goal? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetan shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. <sighs> Just make the engine work. 
No, it, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Pliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Only a little bit, Excuse asshole. Me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, we were working some kind of side deal with these guys, but whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. I love Fliss. I think Fliss is my favorite out of this group. I mean, Brad's pretty great. There was a couple of things I know that I missed here. What's going on? Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I just wish I knew what the fishermen was planning. But those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. Yep. So We want an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, okay, really? You, you think I'm not up to it? I don't really care. I just want to get this disintegrator cap for the disintegrator so cap. If you all wouldn't mind growing up and helping me out, then maybe God, we can finally me. get back to whatever's left of our godforsaken beer stash. That's it. What do you think? Okay, well, we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. <clears throat> All right. Uh... I wonder why this was ripped off. Something scratched out there. So like crazy, three months until the next leave, blah 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 blah. Great. Love you so All much. All the places Miller. I'm gonna die on. A bona fide ghost ship. I'm really scared. I'm gonna talk to her if it'll let me. It's not letting me. Okay. Here. Real, real creepy. Can I get back there? Anything? Anything? No? Okay. One's going to the engine room, one's going to the cargo holds. Bottle. Cet endroit est bizarre. Okay. Bon, 
I kind of want to pocket those. I feel like they'd be coming. They'd come in handy if you want to pick. If you want to pick a lock or something, you know. Apparently, it won't let me. Oh, I didn't look at this. What happened here? Talk to her. No, nope, can't talk to her. Is there anything else out here? Talk to... Talk to her at all? Nope. Okay. Alright, I'll go help Alex out with his thing. Come on. Any luck? I can't get it open. Get out of here. Oh, we don't know where a deck like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Yeah, because he's expected to be the most annoying of them all. Uh, distract. Hey! Yeah, you long dog silver and shit, but what are you guys doing out there? Silver and shit. Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one legged fuck faces! Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate hair off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow colored stew! I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? One, two, three. Alright, pretty happy with that. <clears throat> to explore a little bit first door oh. and we flip it over new rules all right oh wait it said something about 3a oh uh game all tapped me hold on um actually that's a since it's paused already uh, I forgot to, in all the hubbub, I forgot to run to the restroom before we started. So, uh, we'll take a brief break, commercial break-ish thing, and, um, I'll run to the bathroom and we'll be back, and I'll be right back. See you guys in a bit.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, sorry that took longer than I thought it would. The um, I realized that uh, well I, when I sat back down that OBS had fucked up a little bit, so I needed to, essentially I needed to re-import my camera, uh, my camera source on OBS, and so that and I had to yeah. Anyway, uh, that's why it looks a little different compared to a second ago. Anyway. Why am I not getting audio? Oh, because I turned off my headset. One second here. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know W is to move forward. Okay, so we looked at that. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Also, did he have a Salem shirt on? He does have a Salem shirt on. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else to interact with here? Can I go in here? And okay. Excuse me for the hiccup. All right, coming through. Pardon. There we go. Past the geometry. Moldy. A bunch of moldy old clothes. And there's the mystery of the smelly socks and pungent briefs. Nothing to interact with here. I debated about moving my camera when I put it in because the, uh... <laughs> because in the bottom right-hand corner, if you look, I'm, like, right in front of the uh, current objective. But my the only other place I'd want to put it is over on this side of the screen. And sometimes some interaction stuff happens up there, and I, you know. I figured, leave it where it is. Okay. Nope. Okay. I wish I could control the actual camera. Fixed camera positions can be great. And it adds to the ambiance of this game. But... Oh, she wasn't there this time. Right? Yeah, huh. I think it was that doorway. Maybe it was this one down here where she is standing. Know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? <laughs> okay, so cargo hold three, cargo hold where two, CH one. Arrow. Engine room, cargo hold four. Uh, cargo hold two is out of bounds. Cargo hold three... Engine room, cargo hold four. Okay. Basically, all of the cargo holds are bad news. There's that. All right. Come on. Come on, Conrad. Just fucking. Can you go into that corner? No? Nothing in that corner? Okay. And nothing here that I can interact with? Nope. Okay. Over here. Oh, there is a door here. Bathrooms. Someone really fucked up that toilet. Huh. Okay. I just can't believe this is happening. 
What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? You got this good mind. Go forward, lady. Julia? Yeah, okay, so apparently it didn't it just didn't happen this time. But um back at this doorway, I'm pretty sure. Um Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that doorway. When I go through that door when I went through the doorway last time, uh the image of that uh the chick he commented on. Oh. Damn it. Why? 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 Give me a second. Let me. Pop up? Is that what's happening? Because the game just alt tabbed me again. So let me. Sorry, bear with me. While I try to figure out what the hell. Alright, well. Alright. But yeah, the that pinup chick that he uh, that he co that Conrad had commented on at the start of this section um appeared as an apparition 3A nobody is allowed in 3A okay that's what i thought it said okay Yeah, she was like right here next to this door up here. And yep. So as the camera pans over just slightly, she's like just barely there. But apparently not this time. Maybe it's in a random occurrence or maybe there's something I did that I didn't do this time or did differently this time. Doesn't matter. Ultimately it does not matter. What is this light? Oh, right, it's the bathroom light. Okay. And there was nothing in here at all? Okay, right. Are you coming, Julia? Yes. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know what you did? <laughs> was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. Moving would make that sound. Yeah, sure. I'm so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. With your bare feet and your cut off ear. All right. So it wouldn't let me re properly read this book last time because I accidentally can uh, canceled out of it. Okay, so June nineteenth, I identified problem areas with structural brittleness. Blah blah blah. Uh, next page. <laughs> Engineers lost. We totally fucked. Yep. All right, so it's only those four pages it looks like. Yep, okay. All right. There's Alex.
Oh, this is nice. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Not a surprise party I want to be in. Rat skull. Can I keep it? Apparently not. Probably best. Alright, let's see here. Ah, hook. Skippers KO'd the booze, blah, 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 13th. Booze is a bub loss, blah, blah, blah. Let's go look at the boxes. The 21st was the electrical storm. New batch, is, new batch is worse than the previous. Take the look. All right, so the 21st is when th it looks like it's when things kicked off. What about over here? Ah, here we go. I missed it. Yeah, it was looking at my phone. Okay. Just go through this door, down the corridor, around the corner. Turn off the flashlight, maybe. Shh. Everyone quiet. Do I want her to go with the distributor cap again?
Okay, so I couldn't tell her no. Because I chose the other one last time. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Except you kind of have to because you know you're on different levels of the ship. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Okay. Come on. Come on, Alex. Let's go. There you go. Bruh. Okay. Do I need to unplug my keyboard and plug it back in for you to be able to actually listen to me? There we go. Watch the makeshift chapel. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this? Seven C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest. little funny. Conrad, why are you going off on your own in the dark with no flashlight or anything? Julia, you should keep up with, with Conrad because he's got no flashlight or torch. Dude, with how wrecked this place is, it hits a feather it's going down. Alright, so they went through that door. I'm going to go straight. And there's nothing back here. Right? Nothing? Nothing? Okay, there's nothing. Alright. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, no, we haven't. Keep moving. Well, considering the fact that Alex isn't the one who's been leading. All right, let's go look at the p disgusting food left in the pot. Soup du jour, mademoiselle. As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine.
and the rats in three, two, one. Oop. Jesus. God. Alex, what is it? It's for yourself. Is there anything else in there? No, that didn't look like it. All right. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Yep, and that day was. Well, actually, it wasn't the 21st. It had to have been the 22nd because the 21st was a Sunday. According to the journal. 21st was a Saturday, according to the journal, I mean. So. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Thanks, Blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. He's hoping he doesn't stab himself with it eventually. I'm having to get out of the Resident Evil mindset of where everything you interact with is you is important, you know. Now that I have the knife, can I interact with this at all? Probably not. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> all right, on we go. All right, what is this place? Cafeteria. I think we gotta go through here. I haven't been in seat long. I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. Blah, 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 blah. Massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home. But the ca captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition. Uh, sure, the cargo we have in the hold is something has something to do with the squad that went missing. I guess it was only the two two sets of pages. All right. Bruh, I'm saying release. Thank you. for me to go get another premonition. Brad getting stabbed. Wasn't. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of this. We're going around in circles. 
what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool, Jay. Oh, it's a ship. It looks identical. It's gotta be this way. Okay. No. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Question, can I go back? Can. Can I go back this way? Is there anything in this hallway I missed? I don't think so. No. Okay. Hi, Julia. It's okay. I'm coming. I just was curious. Let's go. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lady. Lady. Let's go. There you go. <clears throat> Thanks for coming back, Conrad. All righty. Let's check this one first. Coffin. What's behind? What's under? What's inside coffin numero hey, uno? We got a name on this guy. What Brian are Carter. Doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. I approve. Will you please hurry? Please? There's a, it looks like there's a carved number five right there. Human? What's the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, that's enough with the bone buddies. And coffin numero three. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes. Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. <laughs> like it. Nope. Nope. All right. What's the matter? We get it. Another Where rat. It? Look. What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Fear is a crazy thing, y'all. What just happened? Oh, it alt tabbed me again. God. To sick bay this way. All right. Over there. Going over there. All right. Welcome to the Orange Light District. Why so spick and span? Because sick bay. All right. Over here. How about over here?
You are a nurse. Still might have some kick. Four years of med school and prescribed me an 80 year old aspirin to call me in the morning. That's not going to make him sick, is it? Yeah, Conrad had vanished um, somehow uh, when I was last through here. But that's partly because I think I feel like that was partly because I dilly dallied and he got ahead of us or not. Or maybe it's just because of the changes I made. Or maybe it's just RNG. Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Yes, poke the cork. Hey, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Okay, so it's only him that I can interact with. Okay, so she went that way, so I'm gonna go straight. Okay, now Conrad is back. Oh, I know what it was. I did this room for before I did the aspirin. You can't see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did this room before I did the aspirin room. That's why Conrad had vanished. Got it. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. I love Julia. Not as much as Fliss. Fliss is... Fliss is amazing. What is... There was something sparkling. Oh, it's the body. else nope okay all right and that's everything so let's Well, Olsen found him. Where are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you this? Come on, get around the corner. Uh, woman? Thank you.
There you go. Nothing this way? Okay. <clears throat> you coming, Danny? Good old Danny. <sighs> Albrecht, come out! Show yourself! How about you calm yourself, bruh? Damn it! Pranked by like a what a fifty year old ship. Look at this. NG Madame. The bearing. Captain's hat with the name ending in G and then Okay. I didn't remember getting that before, but I'm trying. Please, bruh. Calm yourself with the pushiness. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Open! He's busy. He's about to sledgehammer the other two. I mean, in theory, there's a little sound logic to that, because ocean, especially if you're on the ocean. Where did all your friends go? Because if you're on the ocean. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Because in theory, salt and ghosts do not, do not mix. I'm trying. Stop with the Chevy, asshole. Um. Olsen. But yeah, salt and ghosts don't mix. Like some, like if you believe supernaturals lore, um, movable hand on the left there. Um, oh, there's a premonition image here. Would you fucking let me? I swear to God. I swear to God, bruh. Sometimes. All right, let me just so I can finish my thought. Um, the uh. If you believe the series Supernatural as uh, that the, the lore that they have in there and the, and it's thing like that, and if you believe in ghosts and all of that, theoretically speaking, that uh, I I mean Supernatural is not the only place I've heard the thing about salt and salt and ghosts. To be fair, but um, ghosts and salt do not mix, and the ocean is you know, yay percentage salt, and so ghosts would not be able to cross said ocean. And so there's a little bit of, depending on what lore you're subscribing to, that kind of makes sense to me, you know? All right. The quasi fall down. Annie, you're going a little crazy there, my friend. 
my enemy, my frenemy. My breath. She kind of reminds. Excuse me for the yawn. Uh, she kind of reminds me of Candace Patton from. Uh, Flash. I would like to uh, have a premonition now, please. Creepy man with a skull staff. That's always good things. Um, all right, it's been another hour, and I'm going to try not to do one of these every hour, but uh, let's have a bit of a of another break. Um, I'm, my back is actually starting to hurt a little bit, so I'm going to go take a Tylenol, but um, I will be back in a moment. Alrighty, y'all. Let's uh let's get this back on the road, shall we? Alright, we did that. Do I wanna backtrack? I wanna see if it'll let me. 
Or did he close doors behind me? I don't remember. <clears throat> he did close the door. Or someone did. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I do remember that from the previous attempt. All right. Alrighty. Arrow points to the left. Now, if I remember correctly, the right is where the the dead wall was. That Danny freaked out about. Can I interact with this door? No, it has to be the chain door. Okay. Oh, A. A. Hammer. Okay. Hold on. Um. Let me just. Hold on. Uh. Nope, that's not it. I want controls. Um, ah, this is what I was looking for. It was in the right menu. Okay. Yes, I would like to do that. Just because it's easier and I keep forgetting that it's quick time event. <laughs> Also, I don't want to risk breaking my keyboard. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh. That's wonderful. I love that it's not there on the main thing. On the zoom out, but in the zoom in, it is. <laughs> it's not there, and yet it is. Awful now. A door or anything over here? No, didn't look like it. All right. Right. Okay. That can't be a good sign. All right, so technically she is in the same room as their entrance, if I recall. Unless there's more than one cargo hold, which there is, that looks like this, I mean, with all these vehicles and everything. That is very specific. Can I interact with that chain any? No. Hmm. Didn't see that before. I think I saw her jump, but I missed what she was jumping about, I think. I think it wants me to go that way, so I'll go this way first. Ah, no, there's the exit. So, in here we go. Yes? Maybe?
Yep. Now we have two people with knives. Let's see which one is the one that stabs Alex. I mean, Brad. Neither one would be good to be stabbed with because they're both rusty as fuck. Not that being stabbed in the first place is good. All death, girl. Can you get closer to the corpse? I want it. There you go. Charles D. Perez. Dun, dun, dun. Shit. Shit. All right, Brad. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. All right. All right, let's go. His dinky little flashlight. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on. I love him psyching himself up for this shit. So adorable. Holy shit. All right, so. Now that I'm not escorted. Man, I would seriously would have grabbed some shoes or something, you know? All right. Now, I want to grab this and look at it. Because I didn't get to look at this before. Uh, location hold 3A. 3A was off limits. Uh, guard duty cy uh, um, cycle looks like. For five, two, blah, 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 blah. Um, probably five, 21, doesn't matter. Um, duty officer Carter Watts, time, watch standard, okay. Reed, Miller, Davis, Perez, Griffin, Patterson, crossed out O'Neill. Okay. Strictly no unauthorized entry to guarded areas. Do not leave post until you are relieved by. Don't put it back down. I want to look. I want to flip it over, man. Pick it up. Flip it over. There we go. Nothing on the back. Okay. <laughs> was that Bliss, I wonder, or oh. was that Julia screaming? This can't be. I think that was Julia screaming in the chapel. I think. There's Julia's bracelet. This is Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. So let's interact. 
to the door. Nope. Okay, back the other direction we go. Yeah, I think he is currently above where Fliss just was. That was something. Oh, maybe it's not to the chapel yet. Maybe it was um when they captured Fl recaptured Fliss. Yeah, yeah, because I think that sound was the guy chasing after Fliss and grabbing her. Anything here? Try the door with the door open. Nope. Hold 3A is down the stairs. Okay, so we were just coming from 3A. Why was 3A off limits? Shit on a shamrock. What happened here? Hold on a second. Let's check this out. All right, so there appears to be two more bearings. Got the kitchen knife. Got the speedboat. Proposal. The bends. And the ships in the night. All right, so we got these two things right here, and they're either still coming... Um, or I skipped them. I think they're still coming, though. Got these. Locks must have been to keep the mutilated bodies secret. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so they will update. Hold on, it's too late. Oh, and they connect and everything. Interesting. Because this guard duty rotation sheet found at the entrance to hold 3A. Nobody was allowed inside. 3A contained caskets. Oh, so 3A was not the 3A was the was the makeshift chapel thing. Unclear why they were under such tight guard. One of the bizarre's caskets is open. The bodies in the caskets are a bizarre supernatural human hybrid. Interesting. I like how this is like a murder board type of a thing. All right, so over here we have a terrified looking corpse. Looks as though they were cowering away from something when they died. Engineer's logbook. Corpse whose face was frozen in an expression of terror. Letter from someone on the ship to a woman he loves. Wow. Are they all connected? No, there's no connection between these. Okay. Ghost. Discarded paper. 
small casket designed for a child. This may have caused the rumors about the ghost child. Infantry badge. Stock badge. Dan hat. Brass plate showing a soldier's name. Chart. Lifeboat missing from the B-29. I will have to do this uh, on off stream where I'm where I can be anal about all of this stuff. You're relaxed, excited, and it's a corpse puppy. She was not happy about Brad's story. Alex and Brad had a rough start, but we've been getting along better now, as brothers do sometimes. All right, so we've got... All right, uh, there appears to be two, three, four, five. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, I did one of these, I did miss. I do remember missing it early on. All right, so it looks like it wants me to continue through the room. I'm not sure I want to. I want to go back. Go down. You are probably blocked. Yep. Okay, what's in this way? Brad, here we go. All right. Now, that is this. And you are connected to this, which I don't have. That door won't open. Can't go that way. There you go. <clears throat> Thank God. Oh, that sound was one of the sounds that Julia reacted to. So... Yeah, I think that's the one where he was like, maybe we hit an iceberg. Okay. Oh, hell. Oh, great. Perfect. Wonderful. Oh. Yeah. Poor Brad, though. Anything in here? No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Jump scare in three, two, one. Now. Now. <laughs> Fuck this place. Just a gas mask. What? That's not. Brad got the gas mask. Where is it? Oh. So each bearing has more than one thing. Okay. 
Must be ha that the ones that are connected. Okay. Alright, so... Fisherman took Julia's engagement ring. When they talked about it later, they were both happy. Alex and Julia announced their engagement to the others. Julia said yes. Alex proposed to Julia. Brad told... Okay, so... We're obviously not done with this little storyline yet. Because... This is incomplete. We have to get that engagement. I forgot they took the engagement ring from her. Um, Alex didn't take the, bang, the bang stick. Julia had to use the knife to open the cockpit door, breaking it in the process. Connor had attacked Junior during the kidnapping. Conrad was unarmed, so Junior overpowered him. Danny brought Alex on deck with a knife. To his throat. Conrad and Alex overpowered. The fight was over. So if they'd had the knife that Julia hadn't broken because I'd, if I'd brought the bang stick, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe things would be slightly different. Um, nothing more has developed about the bends. Probably good. Um, nothing has evolved with the kitchen knife yet. Nothing with the military bandwidth. All right. Interesting. Interesting. I guess this is locked. What am I hearing? Oh, nope, not locked. Not ready to go through. I'm almost where I was before. So, come on. Alex. Sorry, Brad. Whatever your name is. In fact, I am basically where I was before. <laughs> that. Come on. Toilet. Someone had a really bad reaction to some food. Except if we look again, no blood. Buck up, me boy. Buck up. By the toes, it could be Fliss. But obviously it's not, given what we know about the... What's, ha what's probably about happening right now. And plus, Fliss didn't have a gun, and now the feet look very mo much more masculine. <clears throat> The gun that was probably Junior. I think Junior is the one who has the gun. Olsen's walking around with a sledgehammer, and Danny is with Fliss. And those are the only ones I remember. Right, let's take another look in this. Maybe. All right, we're officially past where I'd gotten before. Or actually, Steam. It's Steam's fault. Defend our future. Join now.
Swimming requisitions form. Respirator filter. Gas mask. Okay, that didn't update anything. Mustard gas. Foreshadowing. Maybe they're through here. Oh, right. No, I, I do remember this. I had to slide the box over and glow through the hole. Um... It's your ass if this gets out. See that it's done. Locks are fixed to caskets. Water. As soon as they have been located at the water purification project facility, the caskets are classified. They must remain locked and under guard. Okay. All right. So that did update a thing. Let's take a look. What was that? Which then. And okay. Um, okay, I, I need to, I need to pee. I should have taken a pee break while I had a break earlier, but I didn't. So I have to pee. Beer, be all. All right, everybody. Thank you for bearing with me. Let's go. All right. So I've got that, that, that. Was there anything else in here? I don't think there was. Um. <clears throat> None seem to be anything. All right. Careful, bruh. I don't want to rip your feet open. All right. Come on. Alex? Julia? Hello? I think we're officially outside of the range of what I remember doing, because this doesn't seem familiar anymore. Ah, another premonition. Let's go. <clears throat> I 
a helicopter landing. Okay. Okay. The copper bottoms. Okay. Okay. A helicopter might come. Okay. All right. Let's let's take a second and look at the at our at our not our bearings, our pictures, our premonitions, because it's been a minute. All right, view premonition. Brad coming out and sneaking out. Yep, we saw that. That's happened. That's not the button I meant to push. Um. Julia may be shot. Conrad potentially leaving. Um, and then getting shot, but I know, or, sh or getting aimed at, um, <clears throat> that was, there was an option I remember seeing happen at, uh, I remember a while ago, uh, when they tried to take the ship back, uh, if I, I could have chosen to have Conrad try to take the ship and leave, but chose to have him stay behind instead. Uh, and I know that, uh, he would get shot. If he would, if he does, because I've seen some, uh, I've seen a preview and, or maybe he gets shot at, but, uh, yeah, anyway. All right, there's the one we just got. Oh, a, a bit ago, I mean. Okay, let's look at that again. Olsen attacking Alex, it looks like. And with Julia watching. And there's Brad getting stabbed. To tell who's stabbing. Looks like a looks like maybe Julia. Yeah, that may be Julia. And then this is the one we just got. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, we need to avoid Brad getting stabbed if possible. So I want I don't want anybody getting hurt. Well, dead. I don't want anybody getting dead. Did you go through that door, Alec? Uh, Brad, Jesus, I'm sorry. Keep going. <clears throat> I mean, that happens. Can I go back through? Probably not. That would defeat the purpose. Okay. Um. Go this way. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! I think that might have been Julia freaking out about the cafeteria thing. Maybe. Come on. Come on, Bradward. Let's go. Skeletons. Skeletons. Ooh, that one hung himself. Skeletons? Skin go. I mean, You're skin is still there. Hurt. I'm not supposed to see this. Bearing updated. Ships in the night. Brad found the spanner above the cargo hold. Okay. I would like to touch the glowy thing. Thank you. Some sort of altercation. Yeah, someone sla sla uh, smashed his head open with that spanner. <clears throat> First Officer Fisher, sir, you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times. No response. 
110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. So for an hour they tried. We were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until 140. However, there has been no further incoming messages track at all since then. It is possible that our radio equipment is faulty. I'm investigating and expect to be able to report back to you by three. Okay. Private Cooper. Well, I don't think he ever gets back to them because I'm assuming that's Private Cooper right there. All right. So do we have a door over here? Is that what this is? No, that's not a door. Okay. Gas mask in one hand. Oh, no, I didn't want to click Alex? that. Julia? Don't do it. Don't do it. Can I cancel? I didn't want to do that yet. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Can I? If I... I just do this. Because that was a misclick. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's try this again. I'm going to be mad if it bumped me back really fucking far. I'll also be mad if it doesn't let me undo that. I mean, I won't be as mad, but I'll be more mad if it bumped me back really fucking far. Okay. So, we'll pick this note up. Flip it over. Put it down. Alright. I did want to check this. Okay. And it's not connected to... Well, it's connected to this, but this has not been updated yet. So there's some strings that I have yet to... Okay. I love how gently they put everything back. You know? Alright, we're gonna just walk right past this. My hand is not even on the mouse. <laughs> no. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Poor guy. Anything else for me to interact with? Alright, so it doesn't look like I have anything else to interact with because this is back where I was initially. All right, I need to get to the drop down. All right, around the corner. Walk past the dead guys. And drop down. Now we Alex? click on purpose. Julia? And it oh, sees it move. No. I mean, that's a legitimate reaction, to be fair. Dude, drop the spanner. Oh, I bet that was one of the loud-ass noises that they heard that uh, Julia and Conrad and them reacted to. updated not yet all right turn around there you go that was brad okay interesting Brad asking if we're sh if he's sure. If, are you sure you know where we're going? What is going on here? Hmm.
Oops, wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. Anything? Not appear to be. All right, forward we go. Oh, wrong button. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna save scam a little. Uh, save scum a little bit. I suck at QTEs. Huh. Okay. A hallucination, I'd say, because it does not belong on a military vessel. Unless someone did some major renovations. Plot twist, it's all just been a very themed restaurant. <laughs> I kind of, I would, I, there's some very interesting things that happen, uh, if you play this with friends. This place is not right. And, cause like, from my understanding of it, you each take control of a different person or a different set of people, depending on how many people are playing. And then you, um, each go through that person's story instead of swapping around, unless you're controlling more than one person, and then you're swapping around. But I would be interested to see what that's like. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, the uh, I only really have one per one friend who's into spooky games. And uh, I would want a full stack. You know, I would want all four. Um, I don't know. We'd what I what I'd want to do is I'd want to do it like I like um like Yvonne B Blue and I do with uh, and Melador do with um with uh, Terraria, um where we where we're all four on the screens. Or we're all for streaming, right? And then... Because I would want to watch their side of it later, you know? I think that would be pretty interesting. Anyway. Alright. Something here. A book here. Yes, pick it up. No, don't put it back down. Bliss. Please pick that up. Bliss. Pick it up. It over. There you go. All right. <clears throat> ah, all good things. A sword forward with a 
exaltation exclaim pentagram the pentangle is sacrifice page 34 remember it takes a step inwards and then it's set in the stance of ram the sight in unison a one and blah 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 spell dagger blood tree body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can infect the unwary and the power of Soros to keep all safe. And so the ritual and no longer should spirits the festival end. Ball should silently assemble and no more than or fewer than <clears throat> five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male firstborn faces obscured with hood sigils. No, it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being. Flock that before the festival of not going to try to say that name ritual of something is performed to went away cabal and tinkle should be drawn out each member stood at each point Lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the center of the pentangle. <coughs> On five people. We got three pirates. Well, two pirates. Julia, Alex, Brad, Conrad. Conrad's missing. So, Bliss. Woman born of the sea, that would be Fliss. And then the other five. Huh. I'm probably reading too much into that. Um, <clears throat> From there, the assembled should recite the incantation. Sword in hand, blah, 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 blah. blah pentagram, five star, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. It's all good things. Can I go to the other side of the room? Because this is a massive room. I kind of want to interact with this again. I don't remember what was in here. At least for now. <clears throat> but yeah, it would be interesting to see because I'm sure that I feel like they would have all these different things, scenes line up in time with one another, you know, if you had multiplayer happening. I wonder if I hold the button, will she actually like hold on? I'm I well if I actually hold the button, will she do more than one note? Nope. Okay. Just jumping in musical stings for no reason as far as I can tell. We're in a military vessel. I'd like to interact with the... 
Ah, yes, okay. Pentagram, skull, skulls, okay. It's all good things. Pentagram of salt, too. There was one more thing I wanted to interact with. <clears throat> oh, she's in the same room as Brad. Because that's the thing that happened with Brad. Hmm. She's hallucinating. Obviously. And I bet that's Brad. Do not stab. Yeah, he's wielding the, the wrench. Do not stab. Nope. I refuse. No. Yeah, no, I will bet anything that that was Brad because the wrench, she was hallucinating. Um, I bet there's some kind of chemical toxin in the air that's causing people to hallucinate and see things that they're not seeing. You guys are about to get attacked from behind by Olsen. Also, you guys are clumped really close together on this thing. <clears throat> oh, well, there goes, okay, into water. Um... But yeah, I bet there's chemical warfare or something that happened that, um... Oh, she's back in an underwater plane again. This time without her scuba gear. Let's linger around and let her drown, huh? No, let's not. Girl, turn around. Please? Wait, there was something. Turn around. Oh, yeah, it looks like Alex. And there's the ring, or a ring. Take the ring. Cute ring, I like the ring. Could you, like, take it and put it on? Two Alex's, huh? Stop! Stop! There's a knife. Drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck. There's Olsen. Or not. No, yeah, that, that is Olsen. Alright, let me. Getting out of the water, Al, uh, Al, after getting out of the water, something that looked like Alex grabbed the knife and chased Alex and Julia. Okay, so that's what's currently happening. Oh, that was the kitchen knife. Let's go. It looks like Olsen, but it also looks like Alex. So I bet it's Olsen. And that hallucination. Because, again, I bet there's some kind of gas or something in the air that's making people hallucinate and see shit. And I bet that's what was happening. And I bet that's in what, what's in the casket. 
No, it was. I mean, it's... <clears throat> hold that thought, Conrad. So the um, it's what I think is that the military disguised these create disguised these uh, chemical things as uh, coffins. Um, sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Uh, as coffins to um, smuggle gas back, and um, the. Uh, they put some body, some skeletons in a couple of them in order to make people think that it was, you know, so that if any nosy people, you know, they'd get scared off and superstitious and stuff. However, I bet there was a da uh, something that uh, damaged them and they were leaking, which then affected people's minds and caused them to see shit and go crazy because that's what's happening to Fliss. And the guy that sh it was telling me to stab, I feel like that was Brad. Cause he just that thing had fallen, and he was had the the thing. I bet he was hallucinating and saw her too. Funny. Yeah. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's you get you get these guys that are not cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift. So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys. I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. <laughs> probably the, probably not the only woman he's ever run from. Alex, Julia. Yeah, I love him trying to rationalize this in his head. Keep himself from going fully insane. I gotta find it. I need something. This. Something is fucking me. Okay, so. <clears throat> Water purification plants with field notes from warrant officer Knight. Okay. The barracks were here. Main garrison, operation security, command post, search ward, guardhouse, clinics, barracks, vehicles. Okay, it's so the barracks, and then this is the barracks. Looks like. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Two different barracks. All right. Fueling station, airstrip, watchtower, munitions. Okay. <sighs> what am I looking for? I'm looking for this button. And then I want secrets. Oh, wait, wait. Bliss found the knife in the cargo hold. We knew that. Brad found the gas mask. We knew that. Brad found the spanner. Bliss encountered a hooded figure and she ran away instead of stabbing it. Um. You. Okay. That was this, right? Right. Okay, so it's number five. It connects to 15, which connects to 14. All right, so if I get 15, that'll update... 14 probably and possibly some of the others as well connect those two together all right I will take this. Thank you. This premonition. <clears throat> Ooh, was that a flashlight? Oh no, that's a distributor cap. Oh no. That's not good. I bet it was wine or something, you know, 
Oh, it was just empty. Or just water, even. Alright, so we looked at that. Alright, next door. That's this one. What is... What is... What is... What am... Thick. Thank you. Form 19, operations order. Uh, Captain, senior officers, internal use only. Man overboard. Ordered full stop and anchor. At 128, received reports of a man overboard. Ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search and recovery of the casualty. This was no accident. I saw him jump. Interesting. Does that update the secrets? So. All right. <clears throat> Next. Come on. There you go. Fourteenth Division Army. To, for all of, to all officers, Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. This war is over. Bullshit. All right. The war is over. This is bullshit. Yeah. All right. Was that a secret? Connected to anything? Does not seem to be. Now, if I go out this door, this takes me back to the hallway. Now, if I back up a bit, there's the door, and then there's the other door. All right. I wonder who he's hallucinating that he's seeing as that as that woman. I just it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's just it's just fucking with me. Okay. Look through fucking the door, man. Poor Conrad. I mean, they're all kind of losing it a little bit right now. What's this direction? Alright, nothing that way, so through the door. Hmm. Another bottle. Whiskey bottle? The top is cut off. Probably not much of a practice with the preach kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. I would just ignore it, man. It is what it is, you know? Candlestick. I mean, I would keep it. That thing is weighty. You could use it. Can I? Nope. Apparently, I can't. All right.
Nope, nothing new yet. Okay. Hmm. That's one warped mirror. Anything else to interact with outside of pushing the bathroom door open? Yeah, oh. I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Yeah. Should. But should I? Yeah. I don't think I you have a choice here in a second. <laughs> well, all right. Saved. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? <clears throat> With a candlestick, maybe? I gotta find something to pry the door open. Wait, was there something to interact with there? Did it pop up like at the last second? Something to interact with? Nope, apparently not. Okay. Alrighty. I mean, candlestick would do it. Enough from the door. Yep. All right. Sorry. Hold that thought, Conrad. Because apparently I'm going to be doing a break every hour. <laughs> um. Because I've been drinking a lot of water. But anyway, I'll we're going to take a quick break. See you guys in a bit. All right. One game. There we go. All right, Conrad, let's go. Oh, shoot. Oh. And the game crashed. Bear with me one moment. One moment, the game crashed. Oh. As did my camera, apparently. Huh. Interesting. One moment, studio mode, figure out what the hell just happened with my camera. Oh, oops, I know what it is. I'm an idiot. I forgot to move something back. <laughs> there we go. All right. <clears throat> pop that out. Oops, wrong thing. I'm going to pop that out. Pop that out. That down. <sighs> that around. All right. All right. Um. 
Bear with me one moment. Come on. Hopefully I don't have to backtrack too much. You never know. Glamour girl. Officer's quarter. Okay. Not too far at least. Oh, it's sorry. <clears throat> Poor guy. Oh, wrong button. Hold on. Something's not right. Let me check the settings. Hold on. Sorry. Something's not... Where is... No? Huh. All right. Okay. Maybe it's my computer. Uh, no, we want to play alone. In you. Yeah. All righty. <clears throat> Well, it didn't cut off his ear. That's not a hiding spot, man. Damn it. So if I return to menu, can I undo that? I don't want to kill Sean Ashmore if I can avoid it. I mean, even if the character did start out as a dick.
I should have had him run. Will it be gener will the game be generous or nah? Apparently not. Damn it. You're the big strong dude who kicked through a wall earlier. Come on, bruh. I've maxed out the relationship with Alex. Ah, shit, wrong button. Yeah, I'm definitely going to replay this eventually. Uh, not on stream, obviously. But. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? They appear to. I don't think they did, though. Now you're one down. I don't want to be, though. Can you undo that? And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. I suck at QTEs, I'm sorry. Have you figured out what's going on? How to yes. stop it? How to mm. save the lives of your poor, unfortunate... I don't know how to away. stop it, but I know how to... You will. ...prevent it. I hope. I mean, I know what's going well, on, it though. It seems the ship's previous <clears> occupants <throat> never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Yeah. Let Usually me help is. you out. Give you a little hint. Sure. 
Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and yep. even yes. some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Yeah. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that. Hmm. That was a nice touch. He threw them down and they were all different. I'm excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy. Go on. Back to it. Speak soon. Yeah, I'm suspicious of the Alex that's been following her around because uh, since the multiples showed up. But I feel like they would have noticed shit, if something was up. Must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Nope. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone Dead. seen him? We got split up. I killed him. I I'm sorry. Him. I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? When? <clears throat> I saw Conrad. I saw him fall. He fell? Where? Is, is he okay? Did someone help him? I'm sorry, Julia. It's my fault, Julia. I'm sorry. I pushed. Oh. A, I failed at the Down QTE. Some stairs, some space. What? It was a big fucking fall, okay? Like too big. He landed on a spike. No. There's no coming no, back no, from no, that. No, 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 Through the no, chest. No. Okay, we're going back right now, and we're gonna find my brother. Julia. He could be dying right now. We have to. He's, we will. It's a little late. Just not yet. Hey. It's a little late. Everything okay? What are you talking about? Back in the cargo hold. You know, you you ran out screaming your head off. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, she didn't realize it was in the cargo hold. Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about it. They're above deck, so they're not being affected the by the I gas saw? as much. Like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I've never hurt you. Okay, now I, I believe her. Right? No, I know, it's just- This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. Well, that's all my water. Something going on. <clears throat> what can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently, the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. What do you think actually happened to this place? Beat me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. The ship got caught up in some kind of bad storm. There was a whole note about it in the engineer's logbook. Did you see the gold? Anything? If there was gold here, we would have seen it by now. Okay. Yep. Still doesn't explain anything. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing. Because I'm pretty yeah. sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hopefully I don't fail and fuck that up. It's <clears throat> gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Depends on the who built it.
Man, I'm so mad that I killed Conrad. No shit. I think we're uh, speaking clinically totally effed. You you had to censor yourself even after all the shit you've already that's already been said between you guys? Okay. Look at that sky, though. That's a 50 cal, I think? I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. No, that's not too crazy, actually. Did that update anything? Did a bit. Okay, what do we have here? My boat is missing. The plane must have been hit, fly have been flying low. Oh. To drop the lifeboat when it was shot at. Cell casing found near a gun on the ship. The gun had been fired. Update the gunners on the ship. Attacked the sea air rescue plane. B-29 was gunned down from the Orang Medan. So we now have the full name. The Orang Medan. It's still connected. There's still something connecting... The loss of radio contact and two other things to that eventuality. Hmm. Hey, thank you for the raid! Sir Fabulous. Fabulois? Fabulous? Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much for the raid and welcome, welcome, welcome! Oh, man. How have you all been doing? Sorry if I totally fucked up your name just then. Thank you for the follow, too. How, how's, uh, how's your day been? How's your stream been going? I'm loving the game. Um... I'm loving the mystery. I think I pretty much got it. Fig uh, the majority of what's happening figured out. Still connecting some dots, though. But I'm loving it. Um, how about you? How y'all doing? Great. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Yeah. Potentially. I accidentally killed Conrad. Poor Sean Ashmore. I say accidentally, because I fucking failed at QTE. Went well? Oh, you were playing this? Were you playing this, or what game were you playing? One of the other Dark Pictures anthology? Or something else entirely? Aren't friends anymore? <laughs> that happens. Some, unfortunately. <laughs> Man, I'm a dad. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Did you guys complete it all, or did you just uh, go for a bit? I want to ring the bell. Can I ring the bell? The little bell that's right there? No. Nope. Damn. You finished the story? Cool, cool, cool. Did anybody die? Uh, just so you know, this is my first full playthrough. I know a little bit, but I've not actually done a full playthrough before. Made many mistakes. You always feel that way in like RPG type storytelling type things like this. Um, you won't spoil it. Thanks, thanks, thanks. But uh, did did anybody end up dead? Other than your real life friends. <laughs> Gas mask instructions. Okay. Do not panic. Remain calmly. Clearly shout gas, gas, gas. Uh, to warn anyone to hold their breath. Let's attach the gas mask. Moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Yeah. Yeah, that just expands my uh, my theory. Um.
man. I I one of my favorite things about this game is the the graphics. Like the controls are a little janky sometimes, at least on PC, but the uh the graphics is beautiful. If only I had a uh better graphics card I could appreciate it all better. But oof. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. you up I mean you could have helped her all the way up bruh Was my theory um, that the ship was transporting? Um, here, I'll let him stop for a bit so I don't end up with story happening while I'm talking. Um, basically, it's that there's that the ship was transporting some kind of uh, hallucinogenic gas, which they disguised as uh, coffins or was in the coffins or something like that, um, and they didn't want, and that's why they chained them up in case they didn't they didn't want people to get too nosy um and uh but you know rumors spread and there was probably was a leak of the gas and that caused the crew to go crazy and see things because we know that julia is seeing things because she saw multiple alex's and we know that in the cargo hold um when Fliss was seeing a big dining room with some pentagrams and stuff, she uh, ran into Brad, who she could have stabbed, but I, I, I already suspicious of that 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 was Brad based off of the fact that in the background there was a uh, broken piece of platform that I saw him break like just a second ago. And, um, so I didn't, I didn't have her stab him. Um, and, but yeah, so I, I feel like they're hallucinating because of some kind of gas thing. And the, uh, curator just a bit ago, he did offer a clue and I, and he said there's something a bit more scientific happening and that just kind of tracks. And with all the gas masks, it kind of makes sense if they're transporting some kind of a gas thing. All right. So she went that way. So I'm going to see if I can't. Is there anything over here? Probably not. Death. All right. Hmm. Hold on. I feel like there was supposed to be some kind of a jump scare in there. Come on, give me the jump scare. No? No jump scare? No jump scare? But the music went all music-y. Aw. Sad face. Maybe there will be on, uh, when we're inside that room. Okay. So I could open this. Do I want to go from that or do I want to go from... Let's go see what Fliss is looking at. Poor Fliss. Fliss was full on 100% freak the fuck out. Yes, I am. Uh, I tech, I've been, I celebrated since, I've been, I started back in mid-September. Um, and I plan on going until mid-November. Um, just to make sure I finish up some things. I've been playing, I've been playing this. Uh, on Mondays, I play Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, until that's done, and then I'll go to probably Resident Evil 3. Um, and um, later this week, and 
uh, for the rest of this month, I'll also be I'm also intending on playing some Alien Isolation and uh, what's the other one? Um, shoot, I don't remember what the other one is. Um, oh, uh, Pl a Plague's Tale Innocence. Um, I'm planning on playing all of those. Um, but yeah, it is, it is such a vibe. All right, let's go ahead and peek in here. Over here. Got a way through here. Uh, press button. Come on. I, the one, the one thing about this game I wish was different was I suck at QTEs. Like I suck at them. Unless I can just re unless I can undo them, I suck at them. That's the one thing about this game is that I wish there was uh, that I could that there weren't QTEs. Resident Evil been playing planning on playing Resident Evil Two sometime. First one is real for the first time earlier this year. No. Yeah. Um. This is my Resident Evil Two remake is technically my first foray into the Resident Evil games. Um, oh, hold on. I have a pop-up that just decided, you know what, I'm going to make you alt-tab. Um, nice. Very nice. I don't think I'm going to go that hard, but, um, yeah, I, I'm, I've been looking forward to it ever since they announced it, but, um, Good, good idea, good idea. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally set your monitor on fire. Looks like the place I was with Conrad. Looks like the place you were with Conrad. Was he with Conrad? Oh, I bet he was what was chasing Conrad that looked like the. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Last log shows him caught in a storm. Um, okay. Yep, electrical storm. That probably caused the leak, actually. Data Baron. Yeah, the the replayability of Man of Medan is great. Um, the potential. I do really want to hit it, it, go through it with some friends though. I, I that multiplayer thing looks amazing. Um, all right, none of the others are new. All right. Oh, there was a bearing that was updated too. Uh, which one was it? Was it the speed book? No, what? it couldn't have been that one. Which bearing was it? Uh, oh, one of the ones that says new, maybe? <laughs> um, how, how does my, uh, playthrough look different than yours? Um, if you, without spoilers, obviously. What was that third one? They were able to escape. Okay. Um. Got it. Okay. What's up? Just chilling? Um, yeah, no, I, I didn't, um, I had a little bit of foreknowledge, one, it didn't make sense to me, like, he was, he'd been an asshole, but he didn't seem like that kind of an asshole to me, um, and two, 
I had seen. Uh, ooh, premonition. Um, let me just get this real quick. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Well. Be careful with a gun. Got it. Um, might end up killing. I think that was Julia, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's, um, I got the, I wish I could say it was, uh, my idea. I took the idea from, uh, a couple of TikTokers I follow who did the same thing with their, uh, their own link trees. And I was just, when I was setting up my stream, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I include this too. But, um, but yeah, uh, I also had the, I did, I did, I, I didn't go into this fully blind, right? Um, cause I follow some YouTubers and back, I follow outside Xbox specifically. I don't know if you've heard of them, but, um, back when this game first came out, uh, or was first coming out, they had some footage of them doing a uh, pre-release playthrough. They could only show certain parts of it. And one of the sections they showed was con was them taking the ship back or trying to take the ship back. And they chose the, excuse me, they chose Conrad taking the speedboat i think it was outside xbox it might have been Eurogamer. i don't remember all right let's go <laughs> i mean it depends like it depends on the friendship was it just the two of you or did you go for the full uh because you can do with you can do one on everybody right or is it only a two-player thing I don't remember. Alright, so we've seen that. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Find the radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. They're, they're you alright there, Julia? You look like you're having a really rough time. I'm not exactly I mean, they all are. Oh, another picture. Oh, a map. Something's wrong here. If you were headed Hands to San up, Francisco, you'd be about. crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Hmm. Interesting. Just the two of you. Two player online fire. Ah, the couch co op. That's what it was. That's what it was. I knew there was a way to have multiple people. Uh, more than just two, I mean. Come on. Come on, Alex. Come on. Let's just... There you go. There you go. Controls can be a little fiddly. At least on PC. Yeah, their instruments must have been knocked out by the electrical storm that was happening on, I think it said the previous stuff was like the 21st. All right, did that update anything? A little bit. Um, navigator's notebook. Saw him jump. They did not know their location when they anchored. Hmm. And there was the map. I think I hear the radio. Hey, look, the radio. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. Well, no, not really. Power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. Hey, hey, 
Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Damn. We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello. Hello. Is anyone out there? Please come in. Don't all crowd around it. To leave somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go. Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> <laughs> what are you what are you talking about? Stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. Kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm a bear. Seriously. So, what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? No, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guys. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Damn right. Okay, Julia, Poor girl, though. It's you and I. There was definitely something else in that room that I straight on walked past. But... So, for the multiplayer, does it... Does it give you different scenes? Like the, I know it gives you two different characters, but do you run through the same scenes together? Okay, let me let me pause that because I, I this is a genuine question. Um, does it run you through the same scenes together, or do they put you in two different scenes running at the same time? Because it's um, because I I that's something I've been ri rather confused about, and I'm not really sure which is which, or which it does. to find the generator if we can get it started we can power up the radio okay we'll wait here by the radio all right <clears throat> my game my game keeps I don't, I don't know if it's the game or if it's the computer or steam or what but i keep getting alt tabbed and that's why it keeps pausing like that here good catch I mean, you don't even know if that's going to work because you picked it up but uh, hey. off of the table, but, you know. Apparently it does. After you. All right. So I am currently uh, Bradward. All right. All right. So I can go that way or I can go that way. That way goes to Sick Bay. We've been to Sick Bay. Um... All right, so here's the plan. Uh, it's 5.30 my time. Uh, my plan is to stream for about another half an hour-ish. Um, two different scenes happening at once. And your, you and your friend said, we're not allowed to talk about what we we're seeing or have seen until our characters are in the same room again. Nice, okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, that, that's a, that's actually a pretty interesting way of doing it. Um, but yeah, 
So anyway, real quick. Um, yeah, my plan is to stream for another about an, about another half an hour. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, and because I've been streaming since, well, for like three hours, four hours now. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, get up, stretch around a little bit, and um, I will be right back. But um, in the meantime, um. Y'all, uh, don't go anywhere. Or if it's late, you absolutely go to bed. But, you know, like, absolutely go to bed if it's late. Let me just quickly throw that in there. So if you're going to bed, that's great. Good night. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I hope to see you again. Um, tomorrow, what do I have going on tomorrow? Tomorrow I have, um... Well, I have to get my car in the morning, but, um, yeah, tomorrow in the evening, as far as I know, I may be playing some Terraria with some friends, um, but earlier in the day, up until the point when I'm playing Terraria, I'll probably be streaming something. I might stream more of this. I might stream something else. Um, I don't know yet, but yeah, feel free to drop on by, um, at any time that I'm live. Uh, if you follow me on my, uh, on my social medias, um, uh, in my link tree is all kinds of stuff. Um, you can check me out there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go take a quick break and you should go to bed. <laughs> I'll catch y'all later. Um, good night to y'all who are leaving. Um, and anybody who stays around, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. Let's get on back into this for the final stretch of the night. All right, so sick bay is over here. We've been to sick bay. Let's go ahead and go this way. Guess we needed a lower level solution. Just a second. Forgot to turn my headset off. Forgot to turn it back on. All right. Hmm. No, I want to go back the other way. That looks like it's the way it's supposed for it, for me to supposed to be going. So let's go this way. Anything? No. Okay. All right. Watch out. 
Julia. Julia, I cannot get past you. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so we have been to Sick Bay. It was all pristine the last time we were there. A couple of corpses laying around, but um Alright, so door here. Or it on. Uh door here. That's where I wanted to go, Julia. Watch out. Julia. Come on, Julia. He's trying to get in the doorway to get out of my way, but... I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, can I, can I, in any other circumstance, you. you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. I mean, he's not wrong. Uh, medical officer's report, minutes of uh, meeting between scientist X and... CWO Walter Bishop and CWO Tom Palmer. Sergeant Peter Wood observing and blank. Uh, X for meeting. We thank Scientist X for... meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn to... No. Our people from something. So yeah, protect our people from something. From something harm. I wishes for Wishes for the same thing. The Western world must be protected from the evils of something man. The United States has something has been aware of certain agencies investigating the blank chemical and biological agents in warfare uh, this us something this blanks us something the G Mm. Our actions are limited by the Geneva Protocol. And while we have been something able to conduct certain experiments, we are unable to deploy outside of a I can't because of the thumb out of a two something something uh, and then okay so yeah chemical agents scribes an investigation during blah blah blah, 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 blah. It's in the code names Manchurian gold Hmm. Chemical munitions uh, battle. It was even relatively minor. Observed to trigger significant hallucina hallucinations. Men highly convincing. Subjects seeing and hearing things that were not there. Even the danger was manifold. Uh huh. Yep. 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 I, I still love that they put things back so gently and precisely. Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming. 
of a member of the United States Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Brig ten days Just approved. Three people who live to get that kind of time. Uh, yeah, that was the... Well, yeah, that was the guy who... Uh, those were the two we saw early on, I believe. Yes, because this is the brig where... Um, where we busted what's his face out of okay okay yeah 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 was this the paper i just read no this was a different paper okay we read this all we read this in the past in the in the prelude huh there was a guy named joe in sick bay yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I wondered when this room would come up. All right, so we've been in there. Did, hold on, is there anything else in here? Oh, okay. And yeah, this is the room that we broke out, that broke the friend out of, and the prelude. Okay. Prologue, prelude, whatever. In the pre part. And the sick bay must be the room where the guy was unconscious. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, turn around. Grab the photo. Yep. Hmm. I've been the son of somebody on board. named John Patterson, private, Rowlett, Texas, blah, 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 history case. Uh, mild neurosis is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty, existed prior to enlistment. No present condition, fit for service, temporary. He'd be closely monitored and referred back to medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. Saw President Patterson today who attended sick bay. Uh, during that visit, I observed signs of severe distress, consistent with evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested, <coughs> excuse me, I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid blah 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 blah. Clear case of COSR. Fit, healthy young man, 25. Oh, no, man, I was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, what did that give me? Distributor cap. Um. All right. So, we have... SOS went out, but was... For whatever reason. Okay. Position on board the ship describing and diagnosing a patient system. He was diagnosed with combat stress reaction. Okay. So PTSD, I think. Letter from someone on the ship to a woman he loves back home. He describes that there were are rumors of spooky behavior in some of the cargo holds on board. The rumors started when someone who was suffering combat and operational stress reaction. So, a COSR. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I believe that is PTSD. I could be wrong. The ship's crew attacked the B-29 due to hallucinations. Okay. Confession from the person known as Scientist X stating that what the Americans codenamed Manchurian Gold was an investigation into distributing chemicals on the battlefield. Chemicals caused violent, paranoid hallucinations. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
and straight across to where Julia is. Unless... Can I... Is there anything this way? No? Okay. Then to Julia. To Julia! Alright. Okay, there's a ladder. And looks like that's as far as I can go. Yep, yep, okay. So down the ladder I go. Please. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? <clears throat> I was broken off here. I think I can just wait. Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. <laughs> oh God! What's up? That it, 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 it was. And the game caused me to alt tab again. Come on, damn it! Wait, wait. did you see it? Um, hello. Okay, so I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II, and we know that it was super unstable and it leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here. Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and is having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Okay. Well, we already know that there was a connection because uh, we've connected it with the secrets here. Um, so we we also know that one of the pirates was sent to the engine room. So that's probably that might be what he saw. Also, they don't he no longer has his uh, gas mask. I didn't think to notice if he had it before. Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, ne Netherlands. Diesel engine number, blah, 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 blah. I bet Alex misses shoes. I mean, Brad. And Alex, actually. And Conrad misses being able to breathe and not drown in his own lungs of blood. <clears throat> Engine room telegraph log. Twenty-two thirty-seven, two thirds ahead. Bell acknowledged. Engine speed adjusted. Twenty-three ten. Uh, Bell acknowledged. Twenty-three forty-five. Lieutenant Young reported to relieve me of watch duty. I relayed engine uh, running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer and no maintenance or hazard issues in the engine room. I found Lieutenant Young to be of a sober and com compos mentis disposition uh, to hand over watch at 2400. Signed, J.G. Phillips. Uh, 
midnight relieved Lieutenant J.G. Phillips of watch at oh, at, oh, at zero hundred hours. Uh, inspected engine room for abnormalities. Performed equipment and machinery checks prior to watch. No faults found. Previous log entries examined. Currently standard speed engine. No new bridge orders. 08. Pull ahead. Bell acknowledged. Full speed ahead. Plank ahead. Plank bell acknowledged. Engine uh, adjusted to maximum speed. Standing order from chief engineer. Cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. Chief engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. Look at this. Ship Stop bell acknowledged. Anchor. Cut engine power. I wonder why. Order received to anchor in shallow water. In the middle of the Pacific? Question mark. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. People were hallucinating. That's or they were testing something, or both. Excuse me for my yawning. I've been doing that all day, and I don't know why. Apparently, my brain needs more oxygen. I believe it. Hmm. Keep walking. All right. So we came from the from the left that way. So we're going this way. Oh, did that actually add anything? Yes. Ship had stopped to investigate a man overboard. Right, 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 right. And they didn't know their location when they anchored. Yep. Okay. Did that up? anywhere else I don't think so oh, but I have all three of those cool 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 the murder board all right it's almost six o'clock so I'm gonna go for a little bit more just a little bit all right um Come on. Hey, hey, I found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. Yeah, yeah. this is it, all right. But the fact that it's not. Let's get back upstairs. It means somebody flipped it on hey, purpose. Let's get back upstairs. Power was restored, the radio came back to life. We lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Please state your situation, over. We need help, now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! I don't think it's going to work again, bruh. All right. Well, that's actually a pretty good place to call it for the night. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me just do that. Oops. Unfortunately our time is up for the day um i may be back on streaming something a bit later tonight um i haven't decided what and i don't know if i will but you know just watch for the notification or for updates on discord or wherever uh for more information um and uh yeah if you tune in tomorrow uh tomorrow evening will be terraria with uh melador yvonne b and blue um and uh during the day, I might be streaming something. I might, I might stream more of this because I didn't, I didn't make much in the way of actual progress because I had to recap that whole section based on because Steam fucked up my save. But, um, but uh, 
yeah. Um, so I might play m some of this tomorrow. I might play something else. I might start a Plague's Tale tomorrow because Thursday I have a, I won't be able to stream until late, most likely, um, if at all. I hope I can, but um, but uh, yeah. So I might do play. Yeah, I, prob I probably will do Plague's Tale tomorrow until time for Terraria, but um. But, uh, yeah. Um, before we go, you should follow me on my socials. Um, I posted my link tree already, but I'll put it here, and I'm going to put it on screen right down here. Is my link tree. Follow me there. Uh, follow follow all the things, or as many of them as you feel like following me on. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr even, Instagram, etc. I try to post on there um, on those with updates. Uh, you should follow, check out all of these people up here. They're all great and amazing. Let me get rid of the content warning so you can see it better. Uh, they're all great and amazing, and there are even more recommendations on my Twitter. Oh, excuse me. If you scroll down on Twitch, you'll see even more recommendations uh, down below, and there'll even be recommendations in my link tree um, so that you should guys ch should all check out. Um, join my Discord. Come say hi, etc. cetera. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, remember that you matter. I didn't say this yesterday because I had to pee and I wanted, and so I was trying to run. But um, make sure you matter. You do. Make sure you remember that you matter. Is what I meant to say. Not make sure you matter. That's a completely different message. Remember that you matter. Don't forget it. You are important. You are loved, and you deserve love. And you have to take care of yourself. And that it means taking time off from things if you're starting to feel a little over overwhelmed or anything like that. You know, social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, friends who may be overloading you, you know, family even. Whatever it is, taking time off from it for your own mental health is a good thing because your physical and mental health both matter. Um, if you need them... Uh, if you need them, there are crisis resources available in my link tree. Um, I'm putting them in the Twitch chat, but they're available in other places if you check them out, if you look around. Um, they're resources for uh, if you if you or anybody you know are have uh, been a victim of uh, or are struggling with domestic violence, suicide prevention, substance abuse, or sexual assault. Unfortunately, these links are only available in the States. I should have said that to... Um, that guy earlier, or that person earlier, I don't know if he was a guy, um, to that person earlier, um, but I forgot to. But they're only available in the States as far as I know. Um, I mean, you can try them if you're not in the States, but if they don't work for you, uh, make sure you... I'm As far as I'm aware, most other countries, if not all of them, have their own version of these uh, if you just look for them. So if you need them, look for them. Uh, Beyond that, continue to continue to maintain your uh, safety features. You know, uh, wear a mask, wash your hands, uh, social distance, etc. Um, COVID nineteen and all of its variants are still here, and they're still going to get worse. Um, get make sure you're vaccinated uh, if you can. If you're if it's good for if you can get vaccinated, you should get vaccinated. Um, obviously, if you have a medical condition that prevents you from being vaccinated, then you know take care. Then you know do what your doctor recommends um if you can get the third jab then i have the the booster shot then i absolutely suggest you do um <clears throat> and uh yeah you know bottom line have empathy be kind be safe love yourself and love everyone around you and i'll see you all next time tomorrow even um i'm I don't I'm aiming for two again uh, tomorrow, but uh, like I said earlier, I have to pick up my car, so I don't know when I'll be actually home and available, but uh, it's a little loosey goosey. Just pay attention to my socials and stuff like that, uh, and I'll let you I'll update people as I have updates. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.